European far-right and neo-Nazi movements have openly supported President Vladimir Putin's fight to combat the so-called fascist regime in Kiev. And on March the 22nd, the Russian leader's extremist allies from 11 European nations will descend on the city of St. Petersburg for the International Russian Conservative Forum. The event aims to unite EU far-right parties in efforts to spread the Kremlin's influence through the 28-nation bloc. Yes, uh, we're radical nationalists, and yes, there is fascism, real fascism, in Europe right now. A firm believer in forcible repatriation, Nick Griffin also believed there was a Jewish conspiracy to rule the world, and that Hitler's Holocaust against the Jews was a lie. In 1995, Mr Griffin joined the British National Party. Three years later, in 1998, he was given a two-year suspended sentence for distributing race-hate material. The following year, he became leader of the BNP. Nick Griffin spoke at a private meeting of white nationalists in Texas. We've obtained a video of the speech. Beside Mr. Griffin sat David Duke. Mr. Duke is a former leader of the Ku Klux Klan, an organization with a violent history of lynchings and murders of blacks. Nick Griffin confided in his right-wing audience that he and his party had a new strategy to sell their ideas to the British people. There's a difference between selling out your ideas and selling your ideas. So, instead of talking about racial purity, you talk about identity. Homosexuality should be outlawed, people should be driven underground and persecuted. <laughs> Germany is on the verge of banning the far right's National Democratic Party, which authorities say is inspired by Hitler and is linked to a cell of neo-Nazis which waged a racist killing spree over nearly a decade. Germany's domestic intelligence service has described the NPD as racist, anti-Semitic and revisionist and says it aims to abolish democracy. neonazisti che si candidano alle elezioni, picchetti contro i Rom come quelli di Forza Nuova a Pavia di qualche giorno fa, sono allarmanti segnali di ripresa di un estremismo di destra che non si stanca di propagandare la discriminazione razziale, etnica e religiosa. Meno di dieci giorni fa Israele si è sorpresa ed indignata per la scoperta di un gruppo di giovani neonazisti immigrati dai paesi dell'ex Unione Sovietica che si divertivano a filmare le aggressioni agli stranieri, agli ebrei ortodossi, agli omosessuali. It seems to me that uh, we're all here because we're white and we want to live in a society that reflects our values. We want to live in a white majority society. Clearly there are daunting, daunting obstacles for that to happen. So how do we make that happen? It would really be a remarkable achievement for that to happen in our lifetimes, but how do we make it happen? One group that particularly exemplifies this extremism in the country is the ultra-right-wing Golden Dawn. Once just a peripheral party having a reputation for being little more than neo-Nazi thugs, they're now in control of around 10% of their country's parliament, and their popularity is growing. Legal immigration out! Out of my country! Out of my home! Golden Dawn blames Greece's troubles on immigration and much like other far-right groups throughout history, are not afraid to use violence to advance their political goals. Now, the Golden Dawn view what is happening in Greece effectively as full-on war. So we had to be vetted by their security before being allowed to visit one of their political headquarters. He also wanted to be very clear with us what the political philosophy of the Golden Dawn was before we went any further. 
We must clear the Greek race. You want to keep the Greek race? We want to keep the clean. Greek race clean. Critics of the forum pointed to the fact that it was being held less than two months before Russia marks the 70th anniversary of victory over Nazi Germany in World War II. The Kremlin has long denounced the Ukrainian authorities as fascists, but that did not appear to stand in the way of its granting permission for hundreds of European far-right politicians and sympathizers to descend upon St. Petersburg.